Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Second one of the day. And this time, we're going to be taking a look at Team of the Week, Week 7. We're going to start off on the defense. We'll also look at the offense and the heroes for this week's edition. Guys, I just want to say before we get into this, the defense is way better than the offense this week. I mean, like, it's not even going to be remotely close, in my opinion. I think there's going to be a blowout. Defense is going to be worth vastly more than the offensive players. But let's take a look at these together. First one, Everson Griffin, 90 overall defensive end. That card is going to be pretty nice. We don't know the specific attributes on it yet, but Everson Griffin has had some decent cards already this season, so hopefully he gets another really nice upgrade here. Second one that I think people are going to be excited about, Miles Jack, 88 overall. He might potentially have some decent user ability to him. We'll have to see again what the attributes look like, but Miles Jack could be somebody that would be really, really fun to use her, so hopefully that's a cool card to use. The last one that I want to point out specifically, we do have a Derek Morgan 86 overall. Probably not going to be the best card, but, you know, could be decent. One thing to point out here, the cornerbacks are both pretty mediocre, 78 and 76 overall. That's really not anything special at all. Even the safeties aren't that good, 79 overall and a 75 overall. Like, okay, I guess, like, who can't really use them. Even Eddie Jackson, who had two big pick sixes. He only gets a 77 overall. Like, okay, whatever. Pretty much a useless card at this point, to be completely honest with you. Obviously, it goes into the sets, but, um, you know, that's that's pretty much it, I guess, for the team in the weeks. But, all right, so let's take a look at the other one here on the other side of the ball, the offense. We have some pretty decent cards here, but, unfortunately, the ones that you would hope would be good aren't in here. Like, for example, the running back is TJ Yeldon. Where's my friggin' Ezekiel Elliott, friends? What does this guy have to do to get a team of the week? Obviously, I understand that they're assuming that Zeke is going to get better cards down the road, and TJ Yeldon's probably not going to get better cards down the road, but still, why do they have to do that? If you're going to make team of the week about being about, like, who is the best players at their position for the week, give me an Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott had a monster game. I don't think there's any question that he had a ridiculous game. Three touchdowns, like, what? I don't even know how many yards the guy had. Like, 200 total yards? I think he had over 200 total yards. Just a monster game. The Cowboys murdered the 49ers. I mean, what more can this guy do? And then you look at some of the other ones here. The 90 overall is a friggin' fullback, James Devlin. Like, who wants a 90 overall fullback? Seriously, who wants that? Then you look at the other good cards from this set. 88 overall, Gabe Jackson. A guard. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, he'll probably be a good run blocker. Fair enough. Fine. I, I get it. But still, oh boy. And then you look at center, Mike Pouncey, 86 overall. He's the 86. Great, thanks. Then obviously you do have a couple of wide receivers up there that might have some decent abilities to them. Ted Ginn and Kenny Stills. I mean, they could be fast, I guess. But even still, they're probably not going to be worth very much. I mean, it's really not a good week for Offensive Team of the Week. These cards are going to be cheap, 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 I think. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely keep that in mind as you're pulling these packs because those offensive players are some buns, my friends. So let's take a look at the heroes. Let's start off on the defensive side. Casey Hayward, 92 overall. Now, this one is a pretty damn beastly looking card, but it does have the 92 zone coverage by default. That's what we're looking for, my friends. 92 zone. It beats the 91 that we need. It meets that threshold. That's all that we need. Anything beyond that is just cake on top. I mean, 88 speed isn't anything spectacular, but it's not terrible. 88 Excel is also pretty decent. I mean, this is going to be one of the better cornerback cards in the game, to be honest with you. 92 press is also nice. So, I mean, honestly, this is probably going to be one of the better, more expensive cornerback cards that are in the game. Unfortunately, because it's the defensive master, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. I mean, we saw some of those defensive players just as a default before you consider their price uh, when you have to add them into sets. They're probably going to be pretty expensive to begin with. So this is going to be an expensive card would be my guess. Um, I think it's clearly the best of the bunch and certainly better than the offensive hero uh which unfortunately is amari cooper now i say that not because i don't like amari cooper and not because he doesn't deserve it he had a huge game and it's great to see him get a card it's nice to see him get things going on offense but i mean this card really doesn't do that much for anybody 
I mean, you look at the attributes and it doesn't meet many of the thresholds. I mean, if we determine that 91 is a specific threshold for spectacular catch, then yeah, it meets that, but it lacks in everything else. Speed, it doesn't get to 91. Catching, nope. Elusiveness, nope. Release, nope. Route running, nope. Catching trap, like nothing. It, it, it's just pretty good at everything. And that's why it's a 92 overall, but it's not really spectacular in anything. So I think the car is okay, but I mean, we saw that the offensive heroes are kind of terrible or the offensive players are kind of terrible. So you'd expect that the offensive master isn't going to be anything special. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing here in this team of the week. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the team of the week this week? What do you think about the Amari Cooper and the Casey Hayward? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear. And who else do you think should have been in here that isn't? I mean, Ezekiel Elliott seems like the obvious one, but there were also a couple other players that had really dominant games. Melvin Ingram, Joey Bosa stand out to me. Um, but, you know, I want to hear from you guys. Were there any other ones that you guys wanted to see get an upgrade card? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.